So what we're talking about here is page 11 of the icon programming and it is the auto level and then rescue setup. Now when you check that box, the rescue box, it's going to automatically set the level, the auto level uh, duration to 0.6 seconds and that's going to affect how high the helicopter goes. So you'll see how high it goes with 0.6 seconds on the 550X in the video. I could cut that height in half by reducing the duration to 0.3 seconds, but for the purposes of this demonstration, I just left the factory settings, I checked auto level, and I checked rescue. Now the other thing that I'm looking at is that the helicopter has these canted skis. Now in here, this uh, level is set to zero degrees, when I move it up to the FBL, it's sitting six degrees sideways. So I was afraid, you know, and, and you'll see it in the video, when you activate self-level and rescue, that six degrees is gonna show back up. The helicopter is gonna kind of pitch forward. So let's play with rescue bailout. Now self-leveling is on as well as bailout. So when I pull this self-leveling switch, it should jump. We're gonna do it on the count of three. One, two, three. Whoa. Wow. That really, <laughs> that thing really raised up. I was not expecting it to jump that much. All right, let's do it again. I turned it off. All right, so I'm gonna flip it on at the count of three. One, two, three. Wow, I do not, not like it. That is a lot. I turned it off again. I don't know where it was gonna stop, but whew. It was quite a bit. All right, so we're gonna do it one more time. And one, two, three. And that's where it climbed to. That's where it climbed to. That time it stopped and then I turned it off. That's quite a bit. It's quite a bit. It's a little more than I expected. Do it one more time just so we can see. On the count of three, one, Whoa, we got a heavy wind here. Hold on a minute. I don't know if I'm, yeah, okay, we'll do it in the wind. One, two, three. And that's as high as it climbed. And then I turned it off. So you can see it climbs a little more than I expected. Um, I think we'll just do it, we'll do it one more time. We'll do it one more time and let's just see where it goes and what happens. So one, two, three. It went up that height and it stopped. Now I'm turning it off and recovering it. The wind was blowing it. Now we got, like I said, we got a pretty healthy wind going on here. So that's, uh, that's the factory settings on rescue bailout or self-leveling and rescue. Um, <laughs> let's do it one more time. I, it's crazy. Uh, it's kind of neat, I like it. All right, so let's do it one more time. So you can see it hovering. And on the count of three, I'm gonna activate rescue bailout. One, two, three. And it went up to about 50, 75 feet, but the wind is taking it. So there's definitely a pretty big jump. I mean, I don't know, 40 feet, 40, 50 feet. Let's do it from a little bit closer. Decent that way. One, two, three. And I turn it off. Yeah, so. And you know, once you get used to it, I guess it's not that bad. The first time it kind of surprised me. Um, 
But that, I mean, yeah, I guess that wasn't bad. Let's do it one more time. All right, so we get here. One, two, three. So the first time you, you hit it, it's kind of a surprise. I mean, I, I did not like it the first time. Have yourself in a wide open area. But after doing it once or twice, it really wasn't that bad. From the ground, when you first see it, it seems like, wow, it's really launching up there. But as you can see from the helicopter, it's really not that much. It's just, you know, you're probably not used to seeing the helicopter jump. It, it translated to about 50 feet. I don't know why the altimeter is showing the helicopter at about 150 feet when it's only 5 feet off the ground. Uh, the altimeter is notorious for not exactly being right on the GPS. Um, but the first time or two that I did it, it really caught me off guard. And I'll be honest with you, I didn't love it. But after you've done it a couple of times, it's not that bad. As far as it moving forward, I would definitely say that because of the cant of the skis, there is a little bit of a forward lean to it when you activate. Uh, when you activate the self-level and the rescue uh, and it gets up there, it, it is pitched you know, a couple degrees forward and it does start to kind of walk away a little bit. Um, so now what I'm thinking of doing is putting a little triangle in there, putting a little platform under the FBL to kind of take that six degrees out so that it's sitting perfectly level. And I think that will go away. I'm going to bring it out to the field a couple more times and try it out. It's kind of one of those things where it's on the fence where you could probably live with it. It's not off like a lot. But the FBL does sit canted because of the canted skis. And as you can see, it's like in the last two times I activated it, it does kind of want to walk forward a little bit because of uh, that the cant that is on the skis. Now you can set the skis on like the blade grip when you activate at the front of the skis and you can kind of eliminate that tilt. You know, or like I'm thinking of doing is just put a little bit, uh, a triangle in there. I'm thinking of a little piece of fiberglass. Just put it in there so that the FB, under the FBL, so that it is sitting at zero degrees along with the surface that it initializes on. And then you can probably eliminate that slight walk. Thanks for tuning in to RC Flights. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time on RC Flights.